Hey, it's Pastor Steven coming to you for my first video log uh, in my sabbatical. Uh, it's actually the beginning of the second month of my sabbatical. And uh, the second month, the month of July, is being spent in Jerusalem. I'm standing in front of the walking gate into Tantur Ecumenical Institute. This is where I'll be living for the next 30 days as uh, we, as I learn about the Holy Land from scholars who, who teach here. And also we'll be doing excursions uh, out into the different areas. And I thought I'd give you a quick look look of my environs and uh, what I'll be doing. So I'm going to take in a brief tour. Tantor sits on top of a hill and so uh, in a moment I'll take you up to the rooftop and, and show you our view. But you can see that it's a beautiful place. Um, there's fountains, uh, there are olive groves, there are grapevines, there is native uh, plants and things. A, a great place to come and be safe. It's a walled uh, place so you have to go through a gate to get into it. It's very quiet and tranquil even though Jerusalem is just uh, around the corner. Uh, the place itself is an interesting history. Uh, in the 19th century, it was a hospital that was built here. And then in the Second World War, it was taken over by the French and used as a prisoner of war place for Italians. But in the 1960s is when the Roman Catholic Church purchased it. Notre Dame was uh, uh, charged with uh, putting together an ecumenical institute. Uh, it was purchased in February of 1967 from the Jordanians, that's uh, who owned this land. And uh, just a couple months later in June, the Six Day War, uh, it switched hands over to the Israelis. And so they had quite an interesting start to this place. Up on the roof now uh, of Tantur, and even though this is considered southern part of Jerusalem, what you're seeing over my shoulder is actually the city of Bethlehem. It puts in perspective how close Bethlehem actually is. Uh, to Jerusalem. The other thing you might notice uh, over my uh, shoulder here uh, are the olive trees that uh, grow naturally and then the wall that has been erected around the city of Bethlehem. That's a rel relatively recent uh, thing that happened back in the mid-2000s uh, with the second intifada uh, but now Bethlehem a, a, a Palestinian town, a walled town and uh, those who want to exit and to come into Israel have to go through a number of checkpoints. Uh, over uh, this side of my shoulder, let's see if I get this right, walking backwards, um, is uh, one of the, the uh, Jewish settlements that you hear so much about uh, that is uh, grown up around it here as well. So from the rooftop, uh, we can see uh, Bethlehem, we can see sort of West Bank settlements, and uh, over the other side you can even see uh, the old city of Jerusalem. So a fantastic place uh, to be. This is a glimpse of my dorm room. Uh, it's pretty simple, but uh, it does the job. We're not gonna be spending a lot of time uh, sleeping anyway. We wanna get as much experience as possible. But as is the case everywhere on this campus, uh, just outside on my porch, I've got an amazing view uh, to be inspired by. One of the things that uh, they like to talk about here at Tantour is really understanding the fifth gospel. And the fifth gospel being the land in which uh, the salvation history story takes place and to understand the land the geography helps to uh, clarify a lot of the things that are happening scripture brings the scripture uh, to life and one of the things that I'm learning quickly here is that uh, the promised land the holy land the land flowing with milk and honey isn't that great of a land. <laughs> it was much more fertile down in Egypt uh, or up north in Mesopotamia or east in Asia, the Silk Road, or west uh, in the Roman Empire. Um, they had a lot better land than the Holy Land, but this was the land God chose for his people. This is the place where God promised to be with his people. This is where the salvation history took place. I'll be talking more about that in, in a future blogs and vlogs, but uh, thanks for checking out Tantor with me.